ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 13th day of December. Mild, muggy, warm conditions this morning. Kind of showery today, but... Uh, colder weather coming up in the days ahead and a weekend storm that could be a doozy of a snowmaker for the interior parts of the eastern U.S. And I'm talking big time snow. Let's go right to it and take a look at some sky cam shots uh, early this morning. We're looking right down 20th Street in downtown Birmingham. That's the sky cam on top of the Daniel Building. And you know at 5 o'clock this morning, that thing is showing 65 degrees. That is almost 10 degrees above our average high for today. That's pretty amazing. Here's a look at the uh, Gadsden Sky Cam. Low clouds and awfully muggy out there this morning. And from Jasper, the streets are wet. A little uh, rain shower passing through there. Up on the big picture, we've got our southwestern trough lifting out. It's being kicked out by a new one that's uh, dropping into the southwest United States. So storm number one, storm number two. The, the first one there, the, the lead one is coming out. That's going to produce some rain showers for us today and some snow up in the northeast. Temperatures, just amazing the contrast. You can see that tongue of really warm air coming up through uh, Mississippi and West Alabama. Uh, readings are near 70 over there on the Alabama-Mississippi border, but of course, uh, so much of the country is so cold. And look at the cold air in Canada. See some minus 35s up there this morning. And winter's not even here yet, technically, in terms of astronomy. This is meteorological winter, but... Uh, the solstice is still, what, uh, 10 days away. Radar this morning, if you look real carefully there, you'll see a few little rain showers. Rain today is not going to be a big deal. We're talking a quarter inch or less, but at least we'll get something. And for a state where some cities like Tuscaloosa are deficient on rain by 30 inches, we'll take whatever. Now, this is the QPF map, the expected rain across the country through Monday evening of next week. And you can clearly see the track of our big weekend storm with the heaviest rain and snow. A little north of here, really from Nashville to Boston. And uh, that's going to be, again, a whopper of a weekend snowstorm up through there. Uh, rain here, oh, it's suggesting about one-half inch from Birmingham north, less than that down to the south. And that's probably about right. Now, we've got winter storm watches and warnings up. First off, up in the northeastern states, that's for this lead system, the one that will produce the showers here today. And then we've got back in Texas and Oklahoma, winter storm watches up for the second system that will be our weekend storm. More snow for Oklahoma, not ice, but snow this time. Uh, that winter storm watch includes Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And even down into Texas, we've got winter weather advisories. That's kind of interesting. It looks like they've got uh, Tarrant County, which is Fort Worth, under that. But Dallas County is not under that. Kind of drawing the line at DFW Airport there. Uh, here's a look at the snow projection. Now, this is the probability of four inches of snow or more. Of at least four inches now. So keep that in mind. And you can see the bullseye for this next. And this is tomorrow, by the way. Tomorrow for Friday. Uh, bullseye southern kansas uh and that's going to be right on top of that ice just what a harsh harsh december for those folks out there and then saturday now that's where the big time snow will be uh from uh, st louis to indianapolis cleveland buffalo erie and then sunday that shifts on to the northeast up into new england and uh, some folks up there will probably see over one foot. This will be a storm to remember for many, many people up there. And there's a look at the projected surface low tracks. Now, there's two lows on there. The first one is the system today, the one that's running from Kentucky over to Delaware. The one that interests us is the second one. That's the weekend storm. And the guys at HPC here have the thing running from uh, north of uh, Midland to Shreveport to Muscle Shoals. And, of course, on that track, that would keep uh, us in the warm sector for most of the event. And then as it pulls northeast, the big question is, will the rain change to snow flurries here? And I think it will do that uh, for parts of North Alabama, as you'll see. This is the uh, model output. This is the 06Z run of the GFS, valid at noon today. And there's our two systems, the first one over Ohio, the second one back over uh, San Diego. And the first one is going to drag a cold front with a band of showers today. Nothing to write home about, but maybe a quarter inch. 
Tomorrow we're in between systems. The second one digs down into the southwestern states. Tomorrow's going to be partly sunny and cool. Saturday, here comes the uh, uh, next trough in the plain states, and we'll go down to the surface under the hood, if you will. And this is the GFS again showing the surface low noon Saturday just south of Memphis. Uh, good rain setting up there from Monroe to Memphis up to Louisville. That zero-degree line, that's at 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet off the ground. That can be an effective rain-snow line, not always, but sometimes. It'll give you a rough idea where the rain-snow line will be, and certainly at uh, noon Saturday, it's over uh, northwest Arkansas and around the Ohio River. We'll go to 6 o'clock Saturday evening. The surface low is just northeast of Nashville. The uh, decent rain's beginning to move in here. And the models have been trending a little slower with this, so the the, the it could be Saturday morning and even a pretty decent chunk of Saturday afternoon could be dry, but Saturday night the weather turns wet. Our uh, zero-degree line there at uh, 850 drops on down uh, toward Greenville, Mississippi. Midnight Saturday night, surface low beginning to uh, reform. Uh, over it will, The energy will kind of shift from Ohio back over toward the Atlantic coast. That zero-degree line at midnight Saturday night is running from, uh, well, roughly along Interstate 59. And uh, that would certainly suggest a chance of the rain changing to light snow or snow flurries uh, after midnight Saturday night. I think that window is there from midnight Saturday night until 6 or 7 o'clock Sunday morning. And then uh, at 6 o'clock Sunday morning, the uh, system is deepening. And, boy, what a snowstorm that's going to be uh, for the interior parts of the eastern states there. Uh, the moisture, of course, pulling out of here, that would suggest any flurries 6 o'clock would be up over the Tennessee Valley. And we'll go to noon on Sunday and a bomberino up there, and uh, there's your blizzard for interior New England. Good luck with that. That's going to be a whopper. I mean, we're talking over one foot of snow for many folks up there. Big, big-time snow. Reminiscent of our blizzard of 93. But, of course, they're a little more used to it up there. And then uh, Monday of next week, uh, cool and dry. We'll be below freezing Sunday morning and especially Monday morning. That should get us down there in the 20s with a surface high right over us. Tuesday of next week will be dry. We'll run through next week. This is Wednesday. Again, uh, that looks rain-free. We'll go to Thursday of next week, a week from today. Ooh, look at that thing coming at us. This is valid the uh, 20th of December. And then Friday, December 21st, a week from tomorrow, negative tilt trough, big-time rain, surface low at Little Rock. And the GFS has been very consistent with this. So there's some hope for beneficial rain at the end of next week. We'll jump out a uh, couple of more days, the 23rd. Look at that trough digging down off to the west. And at the surface, that looks very wet again on Christmas Eve Eve. Now, this is getting way out here into voodoo country. Now, the, the, the thing at the end of next week, yeah, there's pretty good skill at identifying that. Now, this is getting more into la-la land, but there's some, that the, again, there's been good consistency. This would suggest snow Christmas Eve Eve out there over uh, Little Rock in St. Louis. Christmas Eve, ooh. Look at that cold air flooding in here, if this happens to be correct. And that's a big if. And, yeah, we see the moisture. That would be flurries. And then Christmas Day would be dry and rather chilly. And quickly a peek at the end of the cycle, or close to it, the 27th, another good-looking short wave, and another good-looking rain set up there. And, yeah, we see the thickness values plunging, but, again, that's uh, this is kind of science fiction uh, at this point. But this looks like pretty active weather coming up here. Interesting weeks ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes over on the blog. For those of you watching on YouTube or iTunes, the blog is alabamawx.com. Uh, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.